Abde Ante is a former Somali Minister of Planning and International Cooperation and joins us now from Nairobi. Good to have you with us, sir, on Al Jazeera. I mean, the arrangement does come with diplomatic concerns, too, that being that Somalia will not be happy. And in the last hour or so, the Somali cabinet has said Ethiopia's action, uh, an offensive that endangers the stability and peace of the region. Would you agree with that? There is no question. This is a dramatic development with profound consequences for regional stability in the Horn of Africa. And keep in mind, Horn of Africa is already one of the most fragile regions around the world. So I think Ethiopia's provocative action is certainly going to create so much problems in the region already. I mean, Ethiopia has been trying to find a route to the sea for some time. I mean, negotiating that path has not been easy. Why has it been easier to deal with Somaliland rather than with Somalia? Well, from a Somali perspective, there are a number of dimensions to consider here. One is Ethiopia probably uh, judged, uh, probably incorrectly, that Somalia is too weak of a state to resist uh, what is effectively a, a coercion, not even a negotiation, really. And secondly, um, this is by far the most egregious violation of the sovereignty of Somalia by a foreign country in, in about a decade and a half. And the last country that violated Somalia's sovereignty was actually Ethiopia when it invaded back in 2006, which in, ended disastrously, as we all remember. And thirdly, the last invasion of Ethiopia of 2006, in fact, uh, uh, led to the rise of al-Shabaab, the most violent uh, militant group in the region. And so you can only imagine what this one would do um, in Somalia and across the region. I mean, there also seems to be this element, though, uh, despite sort of the geopolitical sort of uh, worries that, you know, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. And there is benefit to both sides in this particular agreement, if, if we're to believe what's written on paper. I mean, Ethiopia gets access to the water. Somaliland gets a stake in the Ethiopian national airline. It seems like they're quids in, basically, aren't they? Well, I mean, that's what they said on paper. But keep in mind that Ethiopia um, is now a lot more weaker and divided internally than it was 15 years ago when it invaded um, half of Somalia, number one. Secondly, Ethiopia is also having another geopolitical dynamic with Egypt on the uh, Renaissance Dam. And thirdly, Ethiopia is now trying to dismember Somalia, a member state of the African Union. And the Charter of the African Union, in fact, protects the sovereignty and territorial integrity of all member states. The fact that the, the African Union's uh, seat and headquarters are based in Addis Ababa and that Ethiopia is, is, in fact, capable of doing something like that really flies in the face of of a global cooperation or cooperation between Somalia and Ethiopia, for that matter. Well, I'm sure there will be issues, certainly, for the African Union to consider, because obviously uh, such recognition or such um, uh, recognition would, would break the charter. But the, the, the other issue here is uh, geopolitical politics, because the port itself, in theory, would be administered by the United Arab Emirates. And Arab nations are having an influence across the Horn of Africa. The UAE, obviously, also uh, it, it backing one of the sides in Sudan. It's also uh, had influence in Libya. How much of a concern is that, or is it something we should be considering when we when we when we're talking about these relationships uh, between Ethiopia and its neighbours? I mean, there is no question that there are other geopolitical dynamics that are at play, and they will crystallise in the next few weeks and months. And certainly Ethiopia's now um, announcement was, even though it was dramatic, it was not entirely unexpected. In fact, the prime minister of Ethiopia was vocalizing his country's desire to gain access to the Red Sea, uh, but they could have achieved that very objective through diplomatic means, through trade um, arrangements with Somalia and other countries. I mean, Somalia obviously is blessed with the longest coast in Africa. And certainly I think the Somali leadership was prepared to engage um, in a meaningful discussion around this issue. But this move now really um, uh, you know, takes the whole discussion into a, a new level. And of course, if other countries outside of this region get involved, I think you can only imagine that you will see a conflagration across uh, the region very soon. For the moment, we will leave it there. It's been good to get your insight into this, sir. Thanks for your time. Thank you for having me.